Hetero Charles. Everybody in here is a what? <laughs> hetero what? Say it with me, guys. Hetero what? Charles. Say it one more time. What? Charles. Hetero what? So what, Rico, does being a hetero Charles mean? You got to eat different from yourself. You do not make your own what? Food. I cannot send my blessed assurance outside and with rain and just be all right. Now, you have those living cells that can. All they need is an energy source and they'll be fine. What kind of living cells? What are they called? Now, we know that trough means to what? Eat. Right? What do trough mean to what? Eat. Eat, right? So trough means to eat. We're hetero troughs would need something else. So what would they do? They're producers. They are producers. Very good. But what does it mean to do something by yourself? Starts with an A. Auto toe. Auto, right? Like auto correct, right? Auto correct means you need to do something for it to correct. It correct on is what? Oh. Conservation of what? 
matter. The law of conservation of matter, that's why whatever you have over here, you got to have what? Over here. Over here, right? Looking at a formula, what's this <laughs> part right here called? What you end up with, start with a P. It's just like a multiplication problem. What you end up with? Product. Products, right? What is this over here? Products. And this is a reaction, so these are called react what? Tense. Tense, right? React what? React. And what? React what? Yeah. And products, right? Now let's keep going. Now today we're talking about respiration and photosynthesis. Now of course, we res respiration we're going to talk more about on Thursday. But respiration is what we do as hetero what? Section. What are we called? Hetero what? Trough. The homosexuals and heterosexuals do it are heterotrophs. Okay? We're hetero what? Trough meaning what? We eat something outside of ourselves, right? We get energy from something outside of our what? Self, okay? Heterotrophs do respiration. Now, plants do both photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, but they do mostly photo what? Synthesis. Now, let's talk about photosynthesis, right? Okay. Now, photosynthesis, right? All right, photosynthesis, right? Photo synthesis, right? What photo mean? Okay, what you need to have, make a picture. Because think about it now, when you got your phone and it's dark, can you take a picture? Light. Light. Bingo, photo means what? Light. Light. Synthesis means what? what? Why they call it synthetic hair? It's fake. Well, who made it? Horses. Somebody what it? So synthesis means to what? Create or make, right? So photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is basically plants use what? Light to create what? Energy, right? So photosynthesis is lays light to create energy. Now I'm glad y'all got that because I want to talk to y'all about something else. And then we'll go on by that, right? So we know that this is autotrophs, right? Because autotrophs make their own way. Give me an example of autotrophs. Plants. Very good. Give me an example of plants. Worms. Trees. Worms. Oh, oh, oh. Plants. I forgot. I didn't say what eat plants, which is pretty good. Those are herbivores. We're going to talk about that right now. All right, now. So what's the formula? Y'all remember the formula for photosynthesis? What is it? What's the first thing? Is a number or a letter? No, it's a what? No, what number? Six, right? Six. Six what? Carbon. C O what? Two plus what? Six H what? Two O. Two O. What goes over here? Carbon six. But what goes over here first? What what goes here? Something goes here. What do we need to make photosynthesis happen? What's over here? Sunlight. Light, right? I like and what? Oxygen. So the next oh. thing, the oxygen has an N, but C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Now, C6H12O6, right? What's that? What's, that street? What's the street name for that? C6H12O6. Air. No, cuz. C6H12O6, and it's something that tastes sweet to you. So what's it? Sugar. Sugar. So what's the government name for sugar? Start with a G. Glucose. <coughs> now let me tell you something. If you see this suffix, O's, it's sugar. Because you have high what? Fructose what? Corn, Corn syrup. syrup. Right? That's what? Sugar. Same thing. If I can't drink, if I can't drink milk, I'm what? Lactose and lactose. Oil. So lactose is also a what? Sugar. Okay? These are all sugars. But right now we're talking about glucose. Right? Now I'm going to put something real quick to help you understand the two types of reactions. There are two types of reactions inside of photosynthesis. So dark, light. Dark, light. 
Okay. Dark. Light. Okay. So there are two types of reactions in photosynthesis. There are what type of reactions? What are they? Dark and light, right? Light is another word for saying light is light what? We are all, what does dependent mean? You need to do it yourself. Um, you need somebody to do it for you. Dependent. Now, you're a dependent. Like, Y'all are dependents of, my children are dependents of me. You are dependents of your parents. What does that mean? <coughs> Descendants. You need them, right? So, light reaction, another word to say that is light what? Because they need it, right? Light dependent. So, instead of dark, what is something else I can say? Light what? Light independent, because I don't need light with me, right? See, here you don't need light. Here you need light. Right? Now, what do I have right here under light? 6H2O. And what? 602. What I got, right? Well, I got that. It depends on light. Now, in this reaction, the light dependent reaction, what do I need light for? To do what? Now, let's talk about something. What's your name back there again? Hey, you. You. What's your name? Who? Zanaya. Is water a strong or a weak bond? Does water have a strong or a weak bond? <laughs> what y'all think? Y'all help out. What y'all think? Water strong or a weak bond? It's strong. It's strong. Why? Because if I heat up water, does it change? It turns to steam, but the, the it is still H2O. It's just H2O steam, right? If I freeze water, it's H2O, but it's what? It's a solid form. So now, light reaction, right? Now, look here. This means light. So we know that water. So I asked you a question before I told you all that. You said water has a strong bond. So what do I use light for in this light dependent reaction? What do I use the light for? Remember, this is a strong bond, right? Is it going to break on its own? So what, what, what light you can do? It do what to the water? Um, Remember, I told you got strong bonds, right? So what the light do to the bonds? They ain't what? What do light do to the bonds? So why I need light to the light dependent reaction? No, I need light to break what bonds? The water. The water. And I told you what kind of bonds keep water strong. Start with an H. And it's also what A. Now, Rico, I need you because you been here to get it here. What kind of bonds I need that would make water strong? Start with H. And hydrogen. It's also high cohesion and adhesion. Hydrogen. Hydrogen bonds. Thank you. So I need light to break the what bond? Hydrogen, hydrogen bonds. What I need light for glass to break the what? Hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds. So I break that. And now I got O2 by itself. Now what happens to that oxygen? It just go what? It go by. It go out the plant and have a great rainy day. Okay? Now. With this H's, I got some H's left. I got 12 H's left. So around. Now, one thing I do create in light dependent, because a lot of energy still floating around left over, I make this ATP and NADPH. Now, ATP and NADPH, right? Now, ATP, repeat after me, adenosine. Say that with me, everybody. Identity. Try phosphate. Say that one more time. Identity. Try phosphate. Now, what does try mean there? Close. But in this instance, when I say try phosphate, what that mean? Three. So how many phosphates have? Three. We'll get back there in a minute. So what I need light to do again? To break the what? The H2O down into just what? Oxygen and what? Hydrogen. And I use the hydrogen to make ATP and what? NADPH. I'll talk about that. Let me talk about that now. Y'all used to go to Chuck E. Cheese and stuff when y'all was young? 
Right? Did you just take your dollar and put it in the slot? If you want to play a game, what you have to do? Get coins, right? Basically, when you eat food or you get energy, your body can't just put it in your cells. So what ATP is, is energy what? Tokens, right? What is ATP? Energy what? Tokens that your cell is. It uses those for energy. Because you can't just go in there with your dog. You can't, your food ain't enough. It breaks your food down to ATP. Of course, since you got this energy over here and you've done your job here, this energy goes to the dark reaction or the light what reaction. They dark, so they light what? Dependent or independent? Because it's dark. Independent, right? Now, we have to be counting this dark skin. Calvin is dark skin. So, how many of y'all know somebody named Calvin who's dark skin? Okay, so Calvin is dark skin. So that's the truth. Okay. Now, the reason why I said Calvin is dark skin is because you have the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle is a what reaction? A what? Light independent, aka what? Dark. Dark, aka light independent reaction. That's the what cycle? So, gleam now. Have we used this? We've done this, right? We've done this. So somebody put their brain and we use this, right? What does a dark or light independent reaction photosynthesis do? They build what? Because that is synthesis, correct. So what are they building? They take the CO2 and turn it into what? What they turn it into? What's left? Sugar. Sugar. That turning CO2 into what? Sugar. Sugar. And how are they using it? They're getting the energy from where? ATP and what? NADPH. I did. So they're getting the energy from ATP and NADP what? H. In the dark reaction, right? See, this is the photo part, the light. Synthesis, right? Dark reaction, Kelvin cycle, turns carbon dioxide into what? Sugar. And it's a cycle, why? Because it keeps on what? Going. Y'all get it now? We got a question. I understand a little more. A little more, you don't start this yet? You start this in the work yet? So let's review now. What's the two parts of photosynthesis? Light and what? Right. AKA what? Light D and light what? Independent, right? In light reaction, what happens? Um, what is it? Oh, light. The light does what? Break down. Break down what? No, what's this? What's this? No, what's this? Remember, you drink it. Nice and clear. Hydrogen. Water. It breaks down water and it releases what? CO2. That's not a C, that's a C. Oh, oh oxygen. That releases the oxygen and it makes what? ATP. ATP and what? NHP. Now, what goes on with this energy? It takes that energy and takes it over here to the what cycle? Seven cycle where you turn what? What's this called? Carbon what? Dioxide. Carbon dioxide into what? Sugar. Sugar. See that? That's the what? Calvin cycle, right? That's the whole Calvin cycle. That's the, that's what it's called. Now, it's more to it. But the end result is you take carbon dioxide and turn it into what? Sugar. Glucose. Very good. And that's photo what? Synthesis. That's how you go from carbon dioxide to water. You add a little light, you get glucose. And oxygen. That's one half of the what cycle. Start with C. Calvin. Calvin. Not Calvin. I'm talking about carbon. Calvin. Carbon. Because you got photosynthesis and what in the carbon cycle? What we do? What we do? What's that called? So the oxygen. Breathing. Respiration. So we got photosynthesis and what? Respiration. And the what cycle? 
carbon. And we got the Calvin cycle as part of photo what? Synthesis. It is Calvin cycle is a light or dark reaction? Dark. Any questions? All right, so when y'all go and y'all do y'all work today, make sure you get it done. Y'all got that stuff that's to 1159 tonight, which is an overview of what I talked about. And the rest of it is due the Monday after Thanksgiving, so get it done, all right? Remember, I want to pass you, right? This is between me and you, right? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is do all your work, and you can guarantee yourself a seat. Ain't that something? That's a deal. Mm -hmm. That's a deal. If you do all your work, you can almost guarantee yourself a C. That's a deal, y'all. Don't mind, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now think about it like this. You got people like George. Did you do every? Did you get an A on everything? But he did it. Did he pass all your tests? Yeah. And he did what I told him to do. And he get even higher than a what? You got higher than a C, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right. 